Namaste and welcome to day 13 of 30 days of AppWrite. Today we are learning about teams and roles feature in AppWrite. We will look at how easy it is to manage roles and permissions using teams in AppWrite. So AppWrite handles user management using teams and roles by default and it provides a sophisticated level of permission management. Uh, using teams and roles, we can easily manage permissions for groups of users. And these permissions can be set in AppWrite resources like collections, documents, files, and functions. How to set permission using team and role? Team colon team ID without any space. If the permission is set like this, any member of that team will have access to the resource. And if we set the permission using team colon team ID forward slash role, then any member with within the team with that specific role will have access to those resources. Both the client and server SDKs have access to Teams API. However, while creating a team from client SDK, the user with the currently active session will be automatically added to the team with the role owner by default. However, when we create a server SDK as logically there are no owners, we need to explicitly add new members and owners to the team. Let's look at how we can create a team. Here is an example from Dart code or Flutter code where we initialize teams service first by passing our client and then we can just call teams.create and pass the name. Name is the only required parameter. While creating a team from client SDK, the currently logged in user is automatically added into the team with role owner. So user must be logged in in order to create a team from client SDKs. How we can add new members? We can easily add new members by calling create membership on teams service. So on team service, if we call create membership, we can pass in team ID, email of the new user that we want to invite, name, optional name that we can assign to the user, optional roles like viewer, editor, we can assign any role to the user, even owner, if we want to make them owner. And finally, URL of our application that will handle the invitation acceptation. So whenever we invite new user to a team, they will receive an email. Remember for this to work, you need to properly set up SMTP server that we have already covered in day 11. So user will receive the email and the URL they receive in the email will be the URL base URL will be the URL that we specify here so that user will be able to click on the link they receive in their invitation and our app should successfully handle the membership acceptation. Adding new members, we can add new members with any roles that we want. If the user does not yet exist in the project, new user with the email provided will be created. An invitation email will be sent to the user and we need to make an app that accepts the invitation and pass the URL properly. Now, once we receive the invitation, in the URL, we receive the URL parameters. So we receive team ID, invite ID, user ID and secret using which we can call update membership status to add the user or accept the user in the team. So this function will get the team ID, invite ID, user ID and secret from the URL search parameters and then update the membership status using those values to add new members to the team. Teams API has some more functions. So delete function, we can delete the team, we need to pass in team ID. Delete membership, we need to pass in team ID and user ID and we can delete the membership or we can remove members from the team. List, from client SDK, it will list all of the current user's team. Whereas in server SDK, it will list all the teams in the project. Get, get a team by its ID for client. Logged in user will only be able to get the team if he is he or she is the member of the team. 
and finally update using the update function we can update the team's name and only team owner or server sdk can handle the team update this is all for today's episode this is how easily we can manage users give them access to different resources instead of using individual user ids we can use teams we can create a group of users so any large application we can create a group of users and assign them with different roles and provide them access to individual resources like collections documents files functions etc thank you see you again in the next episode